Hi everyone, here's just a video showing you how to use this sample template for Gaelic football along with the dashboard which can be associated with it. Before we get started, if you've received the dashboard, what you'll need to do is open your dashboard menu and press this import button, then choose the dashboard file, then that will be in your dashboard menu. So I'm just going to open up the dashboard here in the background. This is a database which already has some sample data on it, as we can see that that's loading through there. So let's take a look at how we actually register with this template and some of the things to bear in mind. Not everything that you do is going to be relayed on the dashboard, uh, but just to give you some info here. So firstly, we have the first half and second half buttons. If you right click and press deactivate auto add descriptor, then right click and press activate auto add descriptor, you can determine that for the half times that you have. These possession buttons are in manual mode. So you'd leave that on when your team is in possession, turn it off when the ball goes out of play, um, likewise for the other team as well. This template and dashboard will only work if you keep the same uh, category and descriptor names throughout. Okay, so that's a big thing to bear in mind. Now these other points, especially because we're using the graphic descriptor, really depends on the order in which you press the buttons. So for example, if we were saying team A kick out, and then I say the outcome, so either team A win it back or team B win it. Once I click this descriptor, I can then go and click on the graphic descriptor and say where that happened. So team A kick out and maybe team B won it clean this time. And then we click where it went. So I'm going to get a grey circle whenever team B win it, whoever's kick out it is, or an orange circle if team A win it. So again, team B kick out, if we do one break. Okay, it's grey circle, team B kick out, but team A win it on the break, then it's an orange circle. Likewise, it's similar for doing your shots. So shot from play here, let's say it was wide, I would click wide, then go and click on the graph descriptor. And this gives me a red cross. If I did another shot from play and we did save, okay, that one's a red circle. So I've put red crosses for wide and short, all these other options of red circles. To make the dashboard work properly, if a point or a goal is scored, you have to click the score button first. So I could say, um, let's do team B shot, and it was a point, so I'd press score, then I'd press point, and then I'd click on the graphic descriptor. So team B shot, score, it was a goal, and I'd click there. If it's goal, it's a green cross. If it's a point, it's a green circle. So again, let's do team A, shot for play, score, goal, we click there, we get a green cross that shows up. The other things are pretty self-explanatory. If it's a turnover, press it and then say whether it was forced and then you can add more detail. Same for uh, team B, unforced and the detail. You can go and click these on the graphic descriptor as well if you want to, I haven't really set it up to do that currently. Team A foul, Team B foul, you just press it when um, that happens. And then cards, you press who's got the card and the colour they've got. So by doing those things there, let's just open up our dashboard. Our dashboard's going to update. Remember, you can always just double click on uh, a part of the background to just refresh and check that all your information is coming through. So up on our dashboard, here think of orange is Team A, and this grey is team B. So we can see the number of possessions, the total number, uh, the total length of possession clips that are in there. And these are the outcomes for our kickouts. So let's look out here. This is saying team A's kickouts. This is team B's kickouts. So if I do team A kickout and it's team A win it clean, this number changes to five. Let's say that it's a team A kickout and team B win it clean, you're going to see this one change. So team A kickout. Team B win it clean, and that number goes up. Likewise, down here, these are Team B kick out. So let's say Team B win it clean, Team B kick out, Team B won clean. That number's changed. And let's do it again, but this time Team A win it clean. So this is going to change. Team B kick out, Team A won clean, and that number updates there. This is just the, the total number of kick outs and how many of them are one. So whenever I press Team A kick out and then one of these descriptor options, this is going to uh, affect the data here. Likewise, if Team B kick out one of these options, it's going to affect the outcomes down here. Fouls is just based on the number of times that 
um, this button is pressed. Same with the cards down here. Turnovers, again, the total number of turnovers and then whether they're forced or unforced. So let's do team A turnover and it's unforced. We've updated our information down here. Now looking at shots, the total is the total of any time that you press any one of these four categories. So we're just assuming that it's a shot from uh, one of these scenarios, from freeze, penalties, or a 45. Okay. And then the score descriptor, which is why that's important that we put in. This data label is basically looking for any of these categories and when the score descriptor was in there. So let's have shot from play, score, point, and that goes up. Okay. Obviously, we're having, let's do another one so we can see this go up. Shot from play, score, point. Okay, then we have our higher number there. This is going to show you the number of goals for team A and the number of points for team A, goals for team B, points for team B. And this part that we have here is going into more specifics. So we've had nine shots from play and this percentage here is saying that from these nine, 56% of them had the descriptor of score inside them. Down here, this would be team B shot from play, six of them and 100% of those had the descriptor of, uh, of score inside them. So let's do another one, team B shot from play and I'm not gonna press score, point or goal, I'm gonna press short. And now we can see that that percentage has gone down. Okay, remember you can always, as I said, double click on the background to update. And because it's a dashboard, obviously if you go and click on any parts of this, so let's say I wanna watch any of our shots from play where we got a score. If I click that percentage, it's gonna show me those specific clips. If I click this number here, it's gonna show me all my shots from play regardless of whether I scored or not inside of those. What we could also do is expand our menu here and save this out as a picture. But don't forget, you've also got a really powerful tool that I can press this option up here, my dynamic dashboard, and I might just want to refresh this data for the first half or the first 10 minutes. So I choose my time frame. This is the start point and the end point. Press refresh. And then all my data is going to change for my graphic descriptors and the data labels that are in there as well. So hopefully you find this a useful dashboard and a template. And what I would suggest is you're going to keep using team A and team B so everything works. The thing that you can then come in to edit is the team name up here. So these are just text labels. So you can right click, press edit the label and then change the text on it. So you change it from Eagles to whatever name it needs to be. So orange is team A, gray is team B, and you can change up the names there. Hope you find that useful.